Welcome to episode 18. Today we've been hiking for 20 minutes and we just arrived uh, to where, well, to what could be an amazing sunset and what could also be a disappointment. We're gonna have to see. Um, I've already kind of found the foreground, uh, but I'm gonna let you see me struggle around here for a bit before I'm actually ready to do this properly. So I think I found the composition now. I'm gonna quickly set it up and take a few test shots before I show you, just so I can capture a bit, at least a bit of what the sun is doing right now, because it is looking kind of good, at least in camera. Okay, so I decided on the composition now, and well, I think it's best just to show you. It's actually kind of a cool composition, incorporating kind of a lot of things actually, but still kind of simple. We have the camera the setup. You can see the actual composition on there. I'm just gonna save some battery. But here. Here, the frame starts around here, and we have this like half moon shaped rock that is actually leading you from this side through here out to this rock that is then leading you to the water and straight over to where the sun actually sets, which is somewhere over here. I'm not really sure. Where, but it's actually starting to come quite a bit of color there. Well, I'm gonna put on a four stop ND filter now. I think that's gonna be enough for this situation. And yeah, then it's just time to wait after that, I guess. Working out pretty well this time, a lot better than last week. <laughs> The light vanished a bit quicker than I thought it would, but I managed to get a few good shots, so I'm not disappointed, it just happened so quick. <laughs> um, so since the last episode, quite a few things have actually happened. First of all, summer suddenly came. It's been like uh, 20 degrees hot Celsius, of course. All the trees are now green. Uh, just a week ago, as you can see in last week's episode, that was like, well, just a week ago, exactly, a week ago. And then there wasn't any green on the trees at all, and now they're all green. So just in one week, I've gone from this grey, kind of bland landscape till a more green, lush landscape. So that's really interesting. Finally, <laughs> it's been it's been grey for so long. I really missed a bit more of the color. I was just to start to wait for autumn again, <laughs> right? Well. The light is almost gone now. It's been gone from my composition for quite a while actually. But, well, I like to stick around until 
the last rays of light or last rays of sun at least just in case just in case you never know what what will happen and it's uh, it's always good to see how the clouds react over time I have this idea that I'm learning something from it which is good makes me more experienced in what I'm going to do in uh, well in uh, equal situations in the future I'm future-proofing myself with knowledge and experience <laughs> well I'm mostly packed up uh, what do I think about today's shoot? Well, I think that today's shoot went quite well. I was a bit worried actually when I drove here because there was some thick clouds on the horizon and they might I thought they would actually cover up the sun and that it wouldn't be any color at all. But I was dis disproved once I came to this location here. And also I... Well, during my whole walk here I could see that it was actually looking pretty good. And I was a bit worried that I wouldn't find a foreground in time f to capture light. As you noticed in the beginning there, I was... Well, I was a bit stressed perhaps in uh, setting up the camera and grabbing the first few shots just so I could have a backup if the light faded but I found the foreground at once it was like immediately this is the foreground this is the element I'm going to use and I just had to decide on which angle and and such. I used kind of a high angle looking down so I can see the shape in the water, the half moon shape. And it turned out pretty well I think. It's gonna require a bit of post-processing to bring it all back to life. First and foremost blending the images and well, trying to pop out. Uh, what is actually required mostly is bring back some of the contrast in uh, in the foreground because that part is usually gets quite flat actually and one really needs to accentuate these leading, leading lines so that the viewer actually can see them as well so that that means dodging and burning a bit which is actually the <laughs> the most fun part of uh, doing an image in post-process at least that's what I think I think that's fun I think dodging and burning is fun Get to use the pen and doing stuff it's, it's fun this weekend I'm going to Norway I'm going there to meet family friends but it's Norway so of course I'm gonna take the camera with me and I'm thinking that we're gonna make it a daily vlog series so it's not gonna be part of of any ordinary schedule like like this episode you're watching now I'm gonna release that as more of a special special series uh, well within a few weeks don't really have much else to say I think so thank you for watching and I'll see you next week